can't believe you just assumed my gender. <laughs> my apologies, uh, boys and girls. So, for a recap, you fought your way into Archon's Tower with a new companion sent by Mordenkainen. You defeated the minions of Archon the Cruel, and eventually Archon himself claimed some powerful magic items, none more so than the Hand of Vecna itself. You hunkered down inside the tower to rest. Then came the nightmares. As you tossed and turned, you all had a terrible vision, a sheer dream. The body of Traitus is led along by a darkly hooded figure full into a room full of red Abishai. Glowing glyphs of Tiamat light the room of this otherwise dark chamber. The Abishai remove the body and lay it across an altar of obsidian and strip, strip it of its clothes. Flashes of pain fill your mind as the dragon-like creatures begin bolting pieces of black armor onto the body, through the flesh, into the bones. Finally, a helmet is lowered onto Traitus's head and bolted onto the armor. Sparks fly as the Abishais weld the helm into place. Without a word, they gather their tools and depart the chamber, leaving only the dark hooded figure in the body of Traitus. The figure begins to, begins to chant, a whisper at first, but growing louder with every turn of its unholy rite. Seconds turn into minutes, and minutes to hours. The sound is unbearable, and it suddenly stops. A five-threaded whisper creeps into the space, spreading through the room. The sound becomes tangible, a red smoke that envelops the body, and you see as the corpse of Traitus takes a deep breath, <sighs> inhaling the vile smoke. He sits up and lifts his head, and you see two fiery eyes peer at you from within the dark helm. The dream jumps into the sky of Avernus, Roiling clouds, meteors falling, acid rain pelting Tiamat's lair below. A winged figure emerges from the cave and beats its wings, furiously climbing into the sky. A black dragon, scarred from a recent battle, carrying on its back what used to be Traitus. The dragon is familiar to you, but it has somehow grown nearly doubled in size since you encountered it. Traitus leans forward, close to the dragon's neck, into the wind, and the pair fly off over Archon's tower. Circling briefly overhead, where you now sleep, before heading off to the south and out of sight. Thorbrek, you're the first to awaken. You awaken to violent curses of Gargoth the Destroyer trapped in your shield. You betrayed me. I will keep my promise. I will find my way out of this prison and I will devour your soul. And you watch as your shield stretches and the face of the pit fiend emerges in the bending metal. And Thorbrek, I need you to make a con save. Wait, what, what did we not do? I'm confused. What do you mean? That's his shield talking. I know, but we were supposed to do something, uh, weren't we? The shield wanted it. The shield wanted to um, uh, get turned. Basically, wanted to be removed from the shield, and I think it was uh, the Archon who was going to do it, or Tiamat. Exactly. Oh. Archon had uh, Yay! Tiamat's ear. <laughs> Gold star for you. Um. I listen. <laughs> I listen. It's not that I didn't listen. It's just I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a whole week, so um, so you make your save, and uh, you hear the voice as it fades, panting and tired, you can tell from the struggle. It says, ah, I see the way. The way is through you, dwarf. You're bonded to the shield, much as I am through you. And through you, I will escape. And then all goes quiet, and the shield flexes back, 
back to its original shape. And you all wake up panting. And here's where you find Holy yourself. shit. Man, I just had the most <laughs> fucked up dream. <coughs> did uh, did uh, Tratus become a, a, a fucking goblin uh, knight or a, a knight? In uh, uh, with dark armor, and he was flying overhead. You saw that too, huh? I'm I'm assuming so. Wait, what's south of us? Who who's got a map? Do we have a map? Yeah. We have the map. Have a map. Gary, can you bring up the map? Thank you, God. Right. Um, all right. We're at Arkham's Tower. He's headed south. Where the hell is he going? I wonder if he's going to the crypt of the Hell Riders. I don't know what the hell that. Is. Well, the Hell Riders. Are... Shit. Fuck. Where do you think he's going? The Demon Zapper. I want to ask what that is, but it seems pretty self-explanatory. Or the Tower of Erm. Oh, Erm. I love his tower. Oh, shit. I don't know. Yeah, you recall the Tower of Arm is where Morton Kanan is. Oh, well, perhaps he's there to kill Morton Kanan? I mean, if Tiamat... Yeah, see, I thought, uh, as far as the shield went, I thought we were supposed to go to Tiamat to get, your, get him out of there. I didn't realize that this guy was supposed to get him out of well, there. Well, Arkham, Ar uh, Archon worked for Tiamat. He was like his disciple or something. And I'm assuming because we killed him, Tiamat's probably pretty fucking pissed off. Or at least uh, the guy in the shield is. She'll probably bring him back. It doesn't sound like it. All right. Uh, so do we think, uh, where do you think he went? I don't know. But it looks like he was pretty in control of that, red, that black dragon. Don't know I don't why the black dragon seemed familiar, though. Does it seem familiar to you? Um, no, I turned a... Was it a black... Oh, shit. Did I turn a black <laughs> dragon into a bunny rabbit? You, you did, but that was a... That was a Fucker. Big, it wasn't that big. Maybe it got that big. Maybe. Oh, shit. Yeah, we did We did not... Uh, we, we we stayed overnight here, and it was weird. So we forgot about the, the bunny rabbit outside. Yeah. That that thing is definitely if it's been eight hours, well, I probably broke concentration as soon as I fall asleep. Did Ignis have this uh, dream? Yeah, yeah, you all did, and uh, and and to him, much like it says in Chad, he's like, hmm, "Who's Tratus?" Tratus is the guy that got t taken away by the White Dragon just before you showed up. It's the one we were talking about going to find him or sort of fight. Arkham. He was our friend who got, yeah, snatched by that dragon. Well, friend is... No. <laughs> All right, so are we headed back to tell... to give the hand up? Yeah, where was that, anyway? But that was the Tower of Rome. Hmm. So are we getting in the car and going, or are we staying well, here? Yeah, what else you want to do? I'm asking. Drive, drive in the TMS lair. We're right now next door. We can go. Well, does... I didn't realize we were so close, because we didn't never, haven't looked at the map in a while, so... Hmm. But if that dream was true, then he's not in the Monument to Team At anymore. Right. But Morgan kind of can maybe answer some questions of ours and give us some hints and, or help us try and find the sword. Maybe get Saren back to his senses. Um, maybe. You know, maybe help us find Tratus. Yeah. Well, my problem is if Tratus is already flying there on a dragon. It's true. But I don't think Mordecai, from what you say, is, 
if he's all that powerful, I don't think it's going to bother him too much to take care of a dragon. I guess. All right. Uh, does anyone have any besides us staying here? Does anybody need to stay here, or is everybody good with us going? Yeah, let's go. All right. So is everyone taking a full rest? Hit points, hit dice. Yep. All that jazz. Okay. So I turn to turn to Ryan. Uh, are we going on to Tiamat? Uh, are we supposed to go to Tiamat and get your shield, the guy out of your shield? I think the original idea was to uh, speak with Archon to since he has an ear to Tiamat and was right. favored by Tiamat. Oh no, I'm I'm now in character. I was out of character asking all those questions. Oh, okay. Now, in character okay. going cuz the in character I forgot the Archon was going to do that too. And apparently Ryan for a uh, Thorbreck forgot too because otherwise we wouldn't have killed the dude. We might have subdued him. Well, I mean in all in all honesty, I mean we came up the stairs and it was on. So it's not like yeah, we could have been like, listen, before we do this, can you do us a favor? When I decide <laughs> to backstab the guy, I can do some dual damage instead of stabbing him through his kidneys. Well, uh, just saying. Yeah. I, I don't think, based on what our task became, I don't think there was any way we were going to get in his good favor to do anything for that shield. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess the question is, should Thorbrick get rid of the shield? I mean, if the shield is, is the shield even going to help him now? Well, that's what I'm talking. That's why I was asking Thorberg. Because my, like I said, I so think it's all good. <laughs> all, right. all right, super. <laughs> all right, so we don't have to go to Team Matt's Lair anymore. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so gotta check that off. The list. We have to go south anyway because that's where Tratus was heading. So might as well head back to Urm and let Warren kind of know that we fucking did his job for him. Right. Yeah, and even though the it's it's in what uh, interdimensional space inside the bag of holding, uh, whoever has the bag of holding still feels almost like it's wriggling. Well, that would be Thorbrek, and he's already being possessed by some other bigger thing. So, <laughs> mm. that's what I said. I said Thor, Thorbrek will totally want that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll want uh, the hand of the Vecna. He wants Vecna and that demon all up in his shit. So many things you get possessed by. Thorbrek is actually the um, big bad evil guy at the end of this. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well, he's already attacked us multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so you head out of the Archon's Tower uh, early morning. Yeah. Uh, you head back to the uh, Hellraiser without incident. And... I'm gonna head over to that. Is that Blue Dragon's body still in here? Yes. I'm gonna cut out some teeth in the in in the horn. Make a survival check. Oh, I butcher that thing badly. Yeah. Yeah, you're like trying to kick him out or something. <laughs> I just I just I just ended up mangling and looking like shit. I just... <laughs> After about 20 minutes, I'm like, fuck it, and leave. <laughs> yeah. You're like an intern at the dentist office. You're like, oh, <laughs> fuck. I'm sorry. It's way easier to do with a, with a, if you cut it out with like a dagger or something. Why are you using a <laughs> hammer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you have, you have uh, if you want to write down inventory, shattered pieces of uh, blue dragon. <laughs> no, I gave up. Teeth. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, hey, Casanova, you need us for spell <laughs> spell casting. Dragon. I don't. Uh, I I don't think so. <laughs> so much for getting a souvenir. Oh well. Mm. Well, uh, so you make your way outside, and uh, you make your way to the Hellraiser, and as soon as you strap in and assume the positions in the Hellraiser, uh, uh, the arch appears and a portal right in front of the Hellraiser. Not ten feet. Neat. Ready? Yeah, I guess so. I guess he's been watching. Mm, not helping, though. Someone has. Mm. Oh, shit. Well, technically. 
you know, he helped us by getting us here, I suppose. All right. Carry on. Carry through. Go through. I guess we go through the portal. I think that's a Ryan. Ryan said something. I couldn't hear him, though. He gunnies and gun it. Drive through it. <laughs> Guns it. Um, so you gun it through. You spin out. Kick up dust. And you lurch Run forward. over a bunch of those guys that hang out at the tower <laughs> worm. Uh, yeah. So you, you come to rest. You skid slide. Skid sideways. Uh on the other side of the lake of blood. Uh, the tower is again surrounded by those Yugoloths that you'd seen before camped out beneath the tower. And uh, as you emerge from the vehicle, you see uh, Morden Kanan up on the balcony again, and he rushes back inside. The stones rise again, allowing you to cross the lake of blood. And uh, as you do, the fiends take little notice of you. Uh, they're just camped out. They're cooking. <laughs> it's it's a strange thing to see these these creatures uh, without a mission to destroy you. Um, but one of them kind of calls out to you as you head inside. It says, uh, "You know, don't bother. He isn't hiring today. We already got jobs. Thanks. Yeah, he already hired us." He like gets he like turns back to his like cook pot and is like stirring. He's like jerks. And uh, the door opens ahead of you. Unlike last time, you had to wait and knock. Mm. The stairs are much like they were outer space. Uh, but at the top, the the top door is already open. You make your way in and you see the waiting room is completely empty and the double doors leading into the office of Morgan Canaan are wide open and Zigbee is standing there um, sort of ushering you in, holding the doors open for you. And Morgan Canaan, you see as you walk up, is pacing impatiently throughout the room. What's going on, Zigbee? Ah. Uh. Uh, so, not, not much, uh, sir. Mo uh, the master's waiting for you. Please. Hmm. What do you think it would take us longer, or, or the? Did we take too long, or something? What is he all worked up about? I, uh, I'm surprised to see you. And uh, as is the master, he didn't think that you would be successful, uh, even though he scried upon you and saw what you've done. Uh, well, that makes a bunch of us because we weren't too sincere. We'd be successful either. So, but we did it. As we go in and they go in and uh, they go over to Thorbrick and he said, Do you mind? Do I mind what? Oh, then go in the bag of holding. You've got to hold we it. you got to get the hound out. I don't like to reach into your oh, car okay. to grab stuff <laughs> without asking. <laughs> Might get my hand chopped off. So I reach in, grab the sack with the with the hand <laughs> in it, and I <laughs> toss it onto the table. Hey, Morty, we got the hand for you. And it uh, wriggles back, and it jumps on you, and it uh, reaches for your throat. Make you threw the sack? Sweet, I pull it. You off. threw it on the table? Yeah, make it make a dexterity saving throw. I didn't throw the hand on the table. I threw the sack with the hand. Oh, okay. On the table. So if it's it can still try to attack me through the thing, that's fine. No, uh, okay. No, um, I never touched it. It stayed in the sack the whole time. Okay. All right. So you throw the bag of holding onto the table. No, no. The sack. We have the hand in the sack. Because we put in a, we put the sack. We put the hand in the sack and the sack in the bag of holding. In the hole, <laughs> in the knot, the in the log, at here. the bottom, of, at the bottom of the sea. I see. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. All to get the fly we swallowed. <laughs> so it wriggled, it wriggled and jiggled and and, and wiggled inside it, okay. and then um, I don't know why she died. Okay, so it uh, it it wriggles, and you see it poke poking at uh, the knot, the closure, as if trying to get out. And I take a dagger off my belt and I stab it through it into the table. 
Okay. Just leave it be. Stop. What the fuck? Well, I, I, I don't want it to get away. I don't want it to get away. I turn around. I'm not it's, looking at it anymore. I'm like, I don't want it to get away. And things, you know, trying to grab my nuts. His, make it's a, his make thing. A, you know? How do you attack? Dex or strength? Dex. Make it. Make a dex roll. Well, here's my dagger roll. Oh. <laughs> 28. Okay. I'll call that a hit. Uh, you hit the, the the bag, and it does rip the bag, but it seems to glint off the hand as if it's made of diamond or some impenetrable material. But it sticks it to the table inside the bag. Sure, that works. There, now it can't get away. And uh, Morning Cane and sort of... Sorry about your table. He he brushes it off, and uh, he was very confident and maybe cocky before, but now he just seems almost upset. And he's, I'm amazed you're able to accomplish such a feat. We are too, but we're a little irritated because we lost one of our friends. Well, I'm also irritated that you intentionally sent us on a quest that you assume we die on. Well, that's a little mm. bit too. Well, the reward, what you seek, is very valuable. Yeah. So yeah. the price mm. is high. I'm sorry for the loss of your friend. He's not dead or nothing, but he gave himself up to a Tiamat so he, we could avoid a dragon. Mm. And Tiamat turned him into some uh, uh, knight with uh, uh, black armor flying a, a dragon. That... Do you know what that means? He lowers his head, uh, chin to chest. That is not good for you. For me or him? He, he just, he, 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 he like holds his hand out and like, Surveys the entire room, all of you. Last we knew, he was heading in this direction, south from the Arcanist Tower. Uh, Why isn't it good? He was probably tasked to kill us. Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't he? Because he could have just killed us right there. We were in the tower under him. It's true. Don't know. Revenge, they say. Is a dish best served cold? Perhaps it was a little warm still when he flew over you. He takes the uh, the satchel off the and he and he undoes the knot. And he reaches in and he grasps the hand, withered and ancient. And it's wriggling and clawing, trying to to get at him. And. Uh, he tosses it in the air just a couple of feet and uh, he waves his hand and says something almost unintelligible and it vanishes. And where, pray tell, did that go? Uh, just a temporary holding place. A demiplane. I'm sure you're familiar with that, are you not, wizard? Casanova friend. I am. Um... Huh. Yes, I am. Uh... I uh, I yank my dagger out and put my sack back. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. Um... <sighs> well, I I must be off now. Hell is no place for such an artifact. I must see that it's secreted away and never again brought to bear. Sure, you'll have to depart soon. Yeah, you're gonna. And so, are you giving us what our reward was to be? Ah, of course. I had forgotten. Mm. You just mentioned it like five minutes ago. <laughs> ah, old age. The uh, 
answers you seek are in the crypt of the Hell Riders to the south. Oh shit! Maybe he's going to get the fucking sword. Um, <coughs> a map to the bleeding citadel can be found there. It's contained inside. But you'll need the key to get inside, and he knows not of the key. Do you know of the key? I do. She can be found trapped in what the devils call the demon sapper. Such a clever name, and he kind of rolls his eyes. It's on the way, even. Free her, and she will unlock the entrance to the citadel. So that's so. There's devils there. Zaps any kind of fiend, or is it just devils? Just demons. Or demons. Just demons. We are in hell, after all, not the abyss. It's amazing. However, the key is miserable, trapped. And she powers the demon zapper. Free her. She is the key to the citadel. Is this is she was she a hell rider? I'd hate to spoil it for you. And he smiles. So we have to head to the crypt of the hell rider. No, in we have order to, to the demon zapper. No, then, well the demon zapper gives us the key. To the crypt of the Hell Riders. In order to get the map to the Bleeding Citadel. Correct. I don't know if this, this little bit was worth it. <laughs> is there any additional help you think you could give us now that our friend is dead and turned into someone who's probably going to kill us? What did you find at Archon's Tower? Uh, we found several dragons. We found a minotaur. We found a tortoise. Uh, everything's <laughs> dead except for one of the uh, 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 dragons, which I turned into a bunny rabbit, and it <laughs> hopped away. Got some evil armor or an evil yes. weapon. Um, as far as that, there, we didn't loot the place, did we? That's not like us. <laughs> what the hell did we get? No, we went over and uh, hold on. It's in the because we did go over the place. And we got Kroll Small, Obsidian Dragon Plate, the Evil Battle Axe, the Hand of Vecna. Uh, we got a bunch of platinum. Someone got a. Belt of Hill Giant strength too. And a no, belt, fire yes, giant. A belt of fire, fire, giant. Giant. fire giant. Fire giant. We got oh. seven gold coin? Uh so yeah. no, that was before. Yeah, no, we had uh, I added the right to the platinum. We yeah. had two thousand platinum pieces. Mm -hmm. And as you guys are going over like calculating, <laughs> you know, he's like, uh, job well done. I don't uh, I don't deal in dollars, uh, services, favors, mostly. You came to me for an answer, and you paid the price for that answer, and I provided that answer. Well, kind of. You said you'd get us to the sword, but now we're convoluted by two extra tasks before we even get to the sword. <sighs> Perhaps more information from, about the... Uh, uh, from birth, one does not begin running straight from the womb of its mother. You must crawl. All right, I'm walk, done. I leave. Then run. <laughs> Do you even remember... Do you even remember who you were before you became I, this... I turned to serious. and I turned to Casanova, and I'm like, uh, I can't deal with magic ma mages. I'm out. It's, it's just whatever. We'll do it. We we'll, we didn't we didn't need help before. We don't need help now. And he looks so. at you on your way out. I hope one day you will see. It is a t 
terrible burden to bear. I wish it on no one. But it is. Well, thank you for keeping us safe in whatever you're doing. If you if if I do find out that it is, I appreciate everything you're doing. But I my head's starting to hurt. I just want to go to the next (laughs) step. Very well. I'll be off. How long is this tower here? Or is it a permanent? Oh no, it it rides with me on the planes. Great. And uh, he snaps his fingers, and you're all beneath the tower, right next to the Hellraiser. Fucker! I knew it. And uh, the um, the. I don't know what the forms or whatever the class, the base, the foundation unleash. And uh, the tower just begins to lift off up into the sky. It lifts off towards the clouds and then blinks out of existence from your perspective. What was he doing again? That was a, such Fucking a great hate burden. wizards. What? What was he doing with <laughs> the burden? He, living forever is a burden. Oh my god, it's horrible to be in the balance of things. It's fucking wizard bullshit, man. Agreed. (laughs) Thank god you're not like that. No. Listen, here's the thing. I'm I'm good at this. But I don't like to be good at this. Trust me. I I learned this so I don't have to do all the shit we're doing. Good at that is not quite how I describe you. Adequate, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, and I pat, I slam you on the shoulder. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's yeah. go deal with this demon bullshit. Next time, anymore. I'm not gonna turn a fucking dragon into a bunny rabbit till it takes a bite out of your ass. That was cool. that was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> All right, thank you. Because it was gonna suck real quick. <laughs> Although I don't know why you took him out of a bunny rabbit first i took him out of the bunny rabbit because he was going to eat the uh new guy whose name i can't remember off the top of my head ignis ignis yeah this this guy here with the flaming head yeah who's he was going to eat him who who apparently is going to be coming with us ignis you're coming with us if you would like my presence or need some assistance i'd be happy to join you all yeah, well, the way, would the way you help us out in the tower, I'm perfectly. I mean, since we were down a couple people, it'd be great. Then I shall come along. Excellent. I whisper over to Casanova. I still gotta watch him. <laughs> you carry your own food. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that tickled me. Yep. Can we see this giant demon zapper from over here? Hey, Lulu, do you know what this tell this demon zapper thing you, that Morikai was talking about? Ah, I needed it my ring the fix. bell. It like I think it just goes bell? and it zaps the demons. Yeah, but is there a bunch of I mean, is it a good place, a bad place? I don't understand. Depends on who you are, I suppose. Uh, demon, bad place. Devil's good place. Okay, so there could be devils there. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Well, they're not really going to just attack. Oh, and and I remember. Don't get in between the point of the start of the beam and the end of the beam, or you could get zapped to death. Like seriously. Noted. Noted. Let oh, that's good information. Don't be in the line of shit. Sight. Fucker. What? We forgot to ask him about serum. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. Badger, I thought for sure you'd remember to have us ask. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know no badger. Or I don't know no Saren. <laughs> I know, but still 
Shit. Oh. I'm assuming he'd have to carry his own food, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So you did what you did. You got the information. You head off apart the plane, across the plains. And you travel without much misadventure, the occasional demon, but you just plow through them with the Hellraiser <laughs> uh, or devil, fiend, whatever, uh, for the better part of the day until you see red dust on the horizon. And you aren't sure from the distance how many vehicles are approaching, but you do know that there are many vehicles approaching you. And they draw nearer. And as they do, the vehicles sort of stop and gather and form a circle and come to rest. And the familiar sight of the wandering emporium becomes clear. All right. All right. Let's take a quick break. I gotta be right back. Train the lizard. Uh, that's right. To eat. <laughs> you didn't have to answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all, right. all right. What are we getting at the Wandering Emporium? I fucking hate wizards. I do. Especially ancient ones. Ancient ones are a big pain in the ass. Oh, he's a prick. Wicked prick. Because it's been so long since he's been around regular people. He's just a fucking asshole. Mm-hmm. And I suppose everybody just wants something, but we did pretty fucking major thing. We fought basically three ja- uh, dragons, a demigod, yeah. and and a fucking turtle guy. Yeah. Although he was Oh, the turtle guy was impressive. I just think we, we were so quick. We were quick acting. Like ten acting. Yeah. We threw a traitor at him. That's right. Can't stop that. That motherfucker is flying around still. Oof. Um. All right. What do we do? We need things at this place. I don't know. I don't even remember what was there. I think it was like a mix of everything. Yeah, we're definitely not getting that food place though. Although it's tempting. <laughs> Ido, are you still eating? No, I'm done. Good to know. Yeah, it was turned out pretty good. Yeah. I just uh, it was next, spi- next bowl. I'll probably just put some hot sauce on it. So your your <laughs> wife is. What was the nationality? Thai. Thai. That's right. Now, is that like a Thai dish or? No, that is Indian. That's what I was thinking of the Indian. Um, although I just kind of made the recipe up. <laughs> We've got like 38,000 pieces of gold. Wow. Do we? Yeah. Well, if we have three. Uh, we have 3,600 pieces of platinum. Correct. That's huge. That's 36,000 gold, right? Yeah. Yep. And nothing to buy with it. Well, well, hell. Buy, all, <laughs> buy all the healing potions we can find. We can, yes. we can buy his wife back. Whoa, that, that sounded weird. <laughs> I don't need to buy her back. I need 25,000 gold <laughs> pieces to... Uh, uh, bring her back from the dead. Mm-hmm. You're not buying her back. That's a little odd. Well, you don't know um, who she is. He also said we. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. I. Yeah, I'm gonna see if they have any armor. All right. Let me. Uh... Do 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 shopping. Let me go back to that uh, file. <laughs> we just realized that we have 36,000 gold on us. So. 38. 38,000 gold on us. All right. 38,568 pieces of gold and two pieces of silver. 
Uh, so there are some uh, at the so so Mahadi greets you outside, and uh, where is it? My where are my notes? Okay. Ha! Oh. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. I hope your adventuring has brought you much in the way of coin uh, that you can, of course, spend to your heart's content at my wandering emporium. We got some. <laughs> ah. Anything you care to share? And he just sort of, like, raises an eyebrow. Otherwise, come in. No, I think I think we'd just like to go in and see what you have to purchase and see if we can cobble together enough gold to buy it. Ah, very well. My favorite kind of customers. Undecided and replete with gold. Come in. And uh, he motions in. And th there are a few places. So there's the Infernal Rapture, which is the fine dining restaurant. Uh, there are... We'll see here the Fire Snake Forge in Miscellanea, which is uh, weapons and armor, uh, a few magical items. Uh, Burning the Barber, uh, you do recall, <laughs> which is where <laughs> you dropped off uh, a not, not so well Saren Diptoas. Uh, from so, here to Avernus, which is a mail service. I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> like and M A L E service. <laughs> yeah, no, it's no, barely, no, it's no, like I'm a not. UPS. <laughs> um, uh, Icarus away. All right, oh, so Draylock's thralls, where you found um, Badger. Yep, that's right. That was where we bought them from the demon. Badger, do you want to return to the scene of that crime or no? <coughs> All right, middle of the chip. Um, Sorry. No, I'll stick with you guys till I got something I need to take care of. But for now, let's just keep going. Get that sword. Yeah, okay. so we'll hit the, we'll hit the place with the magic items and the weapons and armor. Okay. Uh, so... What kind of armor are you looking for, Kessela? Uh, armor that a wizard can wear. Last time we were here, there was some, but it was like 2,000 gold pieces. So I'm going to see if there might be a coupon code or something. But <laughs> Yeah, there's an elven chain shirt still available, and it is still 2,000 yes. gold. God damn it. I think you can wear any armor or do stuff to be proficient in it. Well, yeah, but that's the whole thing is I'm a wizard. Yeah, I'm, proficient, proficient in it. I'm a wizard. I'm not proficient in it. Yeah. You're a wizard, Henry. So, uh, yeah, sure. We can take it if you want. Just had to ask uh, uh, Thorbrecht to get it out of the pouch. Well, hold on one second. Can I? So who's uh, who's the person who we're buying from? Is it the same guy who opened the shop up? No, these are uh, f salamanders, rash skids and slag, and they're back and forth, and they're like, like rubbery, red rubbery hands. They're very busy, and they spend little time at the at the counter. Oh, hey, yeah, we can. Uh... So, so we'll get rid of that battle axe too if we uh, want to use it as trader. See what they'll give us. For. Where's the hand up for the shot? Is that what you're looking There isn't at? one. Oh. There isn't one. We're just going we, by what Gary says. Hey, hey guys, uh, before we get over there, do what do we think? What do we think about maybe selling that evil battle axe? Which one? So we only have one. I thought we had a few of them. I know the one from our evil things. The, the one from, from Archon? The legendary yeah. uh, battle axe. The legendary. I think we should hold on to the evil battle axes. Why? It's a perfect place for it down here, right? Yeah. I, I guess. I mean, if I you guys. Bring that, I don't want to bring that back to our plane. And I don't think we can destroy it. I mean, that's a pretty heavy duty kind of thing. I'll see how much it's worth, I guess. Yeah. Well, maybe we can get some soul coins out of it, right? All right. Talk to the Salamander. Yeah, let's go. All right, I just wanted to get everyone's uh, consensus on that. 
Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, I can get rid of the hand of Vecna. We don't have that anymore. Thank goodness. That stuff's evil. All right. Walk up and talk to the salamanders. What's going on? We're very nice busy. Line. Yeah? Well, don't you want to sell things? Or yes. Buy things? <laughs> Do you buy things too? What have you for sale? I pull out the battle axe and slap it on the counter. What do you think of this bad boy? He faints. Oh. He, hey, colla he collapses. Guys the two of the other guys come in the back and they pick him up. And uh, he, he rises and he looks up and the other two look at the battle axe and they faint. That's it. Well, then and I then, robbed the place. All, and then uh, he looks. He looks. He looks up, and he gets them up, and they huddle. Not very valuable that piece. Seen it? No, mi no, one not. million times that piece. Not impressed mm -hmm, one sure. bit. Sure. Okay. Well, then I'll put it away. Uh, uh, I take it. Don't hustle off. Uh, always willing to make deal. Oh, shit, that did not work. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, so we were thinking about maybe... Uh, um, that, uh, hey, do you have that? Sliver. Yeah. Wait, uh, I, I whispered a sliver. If uh, if these guys are fainting over this thing, shouldn't... Do you think maybe we should keep it? There we go. Well, then do what with it? <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I, I'm just worried that we're gonna give it up, and we might need it later. But uh, I'm gonna lean over. I'm gonna lean Wait. over. I'm gonna lean over back to. Well, I'm gonna lean over back over to Casanova, and I'll be like, "I'm like, yeah, but the problem is someone might come looking for it, and I don't want to have it when they do." Mm, that's true. <laughs> and if we can get maybe your thing and a bunch of soul coins out of it, right? So, uh, yeah, so, oh, oh, so, oh, so, oh, you want me to put it back on the counter? I put it back on the counter. Are you going to faint now? <laughs> and the other one's like, grab him. Not impressed. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, not impressed, though. Oh, what, what do you got it? there? Mm, fair so that, uh, trade. That chain mail? Stupid chain elven mail? chain. I mean, very valuable elven chain. Yeah, yeah, Quite a yeah. deal uh, you'll be had to exchange, even swap. Yeah. Uh, we're thinking probably like a hundred. <laughs> Fade now. I heard a. <laughs> I said, okay. I said 100, 100, soul, 100 coins. soul coins and the elven chain, and it's yours. Uh, but weren't they asking for some ridiculous soul coins last time? If I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. Ah, uh, we only have 10 soul coins in the house. Uh, well, that's kind of hard. Yeah. What else you got? That, and he, he he like he like folds his arms. That is what we are willing to offer. Huh. Well, how much do you want for the chain? Because we'll just take the chain then and we'll go. Ten thousand gold pieces. I thought it was two thousand gold pieces. <laughs> yeah, last time it was two thousand. So you guys. Uh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, ten th uh, five uh, two thousand gold gold pieces. <laughs> So, uh, what else you got for sale, too? That's all it? Just the, the elven chain? and I have this cape. Oh, yeah? What kind of cape is it? Uh, it makes you vanish from one place, appear in another. Ooh. Stupid, if you cool. ask me. I could just walk yeah. there. That's true. You could. That's awful. What else you got? Yeah, because that's that's kind of less interesting. What else you got? 
And I have this wand that shoots magic missiles. Oh. And his eyes grow yeah. wide. But he only, he only does like three at a time, right? He does that all on his own. What the hell the fuck do you need a wand for? Ah, uh, well, <coughs> we could, um... I kick Casanova. Like, fuck! Step on a stove. Mm. All right, put that over there in the pile. What else you got? We are low on, uh... All right. Magic items. I have potions. Oh, yeah. Do you have any healing potions? I have a carpet of flying. Oh, yeah, the carpet of flying. I forgot about that. Yeah, no, we don't need that. But how about the, um, well, maybe. We'll see. What do we got for healing potions? I have, uh, and he pulls up eight of the regular healing and four of the greater healing. So, all right. 100 Give me- a piece for the regular, 500 a piece for the greater. Sure. I, I say, oh, yeah, sure. And I turn around to Casanova and I grab everybody together and I go, probably want the wand, right? I think the wand would work. We want, I think, we want I the think armor that, and we want the wand. And I think we want that uh, cape of teleportation, I'm assuming. Yeah. And then the co- and all 10 of their soul coins. Yeah. And I think that's worth it for that. And then we, we can pay for some. Uh, they're already gouging some of the healing potions. Right. That's true. Uh, all right, so strike a deal for that, guys. You guys good for that? Sure. All right. I turn back to that. Says so this is what we're gonna do. All right. Since this axe is, we we know it's really good. Right. We just know it is. And your stuff is kind of okay. This is what we want. We want the these three things here. I point at the, I want I point at the uh, the mage. The, the mage armor, not the, or uh, mithril, yeah. mithril. Uh, elven the chain wand. shirt. Yeah, elven chain shirt, the wand. Magic, and wand the, of magic yeah, missiles, yeah. Yeah, and we want five soul coins. And the cape of... It's Montabak, right, or whatever? Montabak, yeah. Montabak. Yeah. I, I, as a player, I know that. <laughs> I know that one. Mm-hmm. Um, so we want all three of those things. And we want all your healing potions. <laughs> he starts kicking stuff behind the counter. And he like kicks something too hard okay. and like stubs his rubber right. toe. And then and I will pay hmm? this battle hmm? axe and, and two thousand gold. He taps his rubbery finger on his face. We have a deal. Okay, all right. Sounds great to me. Uh, I slide the battle axe over to the side and I Wait. start taking. What? One exception. What's that? You must name your first child after me. Sure. After me is the name of my first child. Mm-mm. No, after me, my name. What is okay, your and then I will name my first child my name. There you go. No. <laughs> What's your name? Don't be clever with your syntax. You must name it. Promise okay. it. Hear it. Hear it now. Agree. Okay. What is your name? What, which one is you? Short flirt. That is not your name. Short flirt. You're so full of shit. That was not your <laughs> name last time. It isn't your name now. What's your actual name? Short flirt. Oh, that's your real name. <laughs> Someone write that down. This is this this salamander is a is he a, is he a demon? Or no. a devil, I mean. <laughs> no, he's a sharfler. Do I have to sign something saying? Of course. I don't can I name it after one of your brothers instead? What's your other brothers? What are the other two brothers' names? <laughs> The deal is the right name, not my brother's. How about I throw another thousand gold and I don't have to do your name? It's very important to me that you name your child Shard Flirt. <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, can it be a middle name? <laughs> Very well. Can it be like John Shardflart? <laughs> Smith. <laughs> Smith. <laughs> Agreed. And he, he slaps his like floppy Done. rubbery fingers in your hand. Done. All right. I shake on it. All right. So let me get rid of the evil battle axe here. Even though they still got a deal, I think. All right. So you said how many healing <laughs> potions, Gary? <laughs> um, eight regular, four. Hold on. Yeah, four greater. So seven. And we got, it was, um, the Cape of Montebank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cape of Montebank, I think it's Bach, isn't it? Montebank. Uh, Wand of Magic Missiles. like it's French. Missiles. And a Mithril Chainsaw. <laughs> And I said 2,000 gold, so I give them 200 platinum pieces. Wait, this is not gold. <laughs> I just need to do something stupid like that. Um, and, and I got to write this down at the bottom here. Must sliver, or uh, <laughs> Ivelios. Ivelios must name... First, first horns, middle name, shark. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was a pleasure doing a bit of this with you, gentlemen. Enjoy that beautiful weapon. I hope it rends many a souls for you. And then we also got five soul coins. Okay. Yeah, you see them wrap it up in uh, fine linen and uh, store it away and lock it up immediately. <clears throat> What's the... Uh, was they get you ten, ten soul coins they gave you, by the way. Oh, ten. Sweet. Yeah, I like that even better. <clears throat> Seven. So 19 soul coins is what we got. No, that's not it. We had seven. Plus ten is 17. 17 soul coins. All right. Shard Flart, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. And he's just like, his eyes are, he's like feeling woozy, and the other guys like hold him up, like, oh my God, suckers. Shh. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, and we move on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and don't wear the Wanda Magic Missiles and the Mithril Cheat Shirt to our lovely only one that can use them. Thank you, sir. And does anybody want the Cape of Montabac? Basically gives you a dimension door, right? I think that's right. I can't pull it up in the... No, it's uh, Cape of. Uh, there it is. Cape is it, of the. I just Mont pulled it up, yeah. Mount Tabak. I almost spelled <clears> it right. Yeah, I spelled it right. Oh, no, I forgot the N. I, I forgot, forgot the U. I forgot the E was. on the end of Mount Tabak. Yeah, I yeah. remembered that, but I forgot the U. And it's it's Mount the Bank instead of Bach. So That's I, an action you can dimension door. It's a 500 foot teleport. Yeah, Cool. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't know who wants it. Uh, I mean, it, if um, no one takes it, I will. <laughs> but, you know. Well, I, I would totally love to do that. Well, then you can take it. I got tons of stuff, too, so I just want to make sure that we spread it around. Yeah, no. I, I mean, I'm getting the wand and the chain, man, so I don't want to yeah, yeah. pick out. What about Badger? Badger wand? Could be good for a front line, too. Yeah, yeah. Or we could do it for uh, Ignis. Ignis, even though he's new to the party, we did not reward him for his help in the last battle. 
So does Ignis would it be something you would want? <clears throat> yeah, that'd be great. And that way, uh, you can, actually, are you a um? You're not a frontline kind of guy, though. Uh, All right, kind of am. Are that you? Be... Well, you were in the front line and you got your ass kicked True. <laughs> in the tower, if I remember correctly. True. I'm, uh... Do you need some armor? Nope, I've got full plate. Oh, okay. Well, then uh, why don't like... you why don't you put on the subsidian dragon plate? It will fit you, won't it? It looks cool. It's better than your plate. What was that? That It was a non-magical plate mail that we got, but it looks cool because it's obsidian. The black dragon plate. Human sized. And then you can have the Cape of Montabac. Um. Sure. You can do that. I'll, it just uh, replaces, you know, your normal plate mail with I, dragon plate mail or plate. Does it yeah. add plus two? Yeah, it adds plus two. Oh, and you right. uh, you have resistance to poison damage, and you gain advantage on ability and saving throws. Does that work with your Me to, armorer? Okay. Oh, good point. Supplements. Yeah, let me... Let me uh, She's got study. All right. Well, it's yours if you want. I will edit the group loot and remove no one to measure missiles because that is <coughs> on uh, Casanova. And then the throw chain shirt is now on Casanova. The Cape of Montabac is now on Ignis. And I will leave the Obsidian Dragon Plate in there until we know. Save changes. All right. Yeah, I think, I think that'll work. Well, boys, we're doing pretty good now. Thank God we got rid of that thing. That thing was... I, don't, I wouldn't feel safe bringing that back up. I mean, someone grabbed that on our plane, you'd be toast. But let the demons beat the shit out of each other with it. That'd be great. The fiends. The fiends beat the shit out of each other with it. <laughs> Plus, I wasn't sure if Archon would get resurrected and come after us and try and get it back, so better off not having it. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Thanks. Totally. Thanks. Of body. course, of course, some other asshole is gonna go and buy it. And next time we come down here, he'll be ruling the place. I tell you what, I'm never coming back do. down here. If I can. Yeah, make. I never came down here to begin <laughs> with, but then they dragged a fucking city, and you know, here we are. Yeah. Poor choices, apparently. Yeah. No shit. All right. Uh, what else is here? We're gonna go find some other, some other things. Do we want to go get food now, now that we have a ton of fucking soul coins? <laughs> well, yeah, are we leaving Siren? Uh, I you forgot about Saren too. He's uh... yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then I was gonna say we want to go talk to Saren. Not that's really much talking because he's feeble minded. He wouldn't even know. He's like, hi, pretty people. Hey. Now, wait a second. Shouldn't we go back in there and see if they have a spell, uh, like a scroll that might uh, break? So I'll, what remind, it is. I'll remind the party. So uh, Barney the Barber. Uh, actually, only one of you knew. Who got their haircut? I forgot. It was me. Okay. Everyone else, she erased their memories except for you. And the deal was to go find out information or somehow disrupt Tiamat's plans. And in exchange, she would, as a copper dragon, beseech Bahamut to um, bring back Saren, restore him. You're the only one that remembers well, that. I, Everyone yeah. else who takes three steps right. away from her forgets everything about her. Well, um, we should go talk to Saren anyway, and then I can we can let, at least let her know what's happened so far. Maybe we can figure out something about Saren. Wink. Wink. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Let's go check it out. We, we remember that Saren's with him. That's about it, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, she's got the uh, swirly barber pole on the outside, mm-hmm. magically turning all the way around. With with bloody towels instead of actual cream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, round Look at this one. Goes. I think he needs his tonsils removed. All right. Let's get, uh, let's really get like, uh, a badger talking to Saren so he can roll play two different characters at once. <laughs> All right. So you head to the barber yep. then? Or? Okay. The barber. You tell me. All right. Um, so you head to the barber. And Barney walks in and she's just finishing up someone. She shakes that little, you know, like the haircut cape off, shakes all the hair off and brushes it off with that little fine bristle brush. And uh, the person heads out through the tent and sort of just gives you a polite nod as he heads out. Ah, you're back. Yes, we are. So, uh, you, sir, remember me. And she looks at you and the rest of you. It's the first time you've ever been in this place. It's a barber shop in a, in a tent. And I remember you should get a haircut. Yeah, totally. Um, they, uh, they, they, um, just remember that we left Saren here and we're here to come visit and get him. Well, to talk about him. And I'm here to let you know what we did so far. Uh, do you know who Archon was? Of course I do. Emphasis on was? Was? Correct. Do tell. Have a seat. I'll trim you up. And she fluffs right. out the... Uh, she gets a new cape because that one was dirty. And... Um, so give you the I new relay all... She, yes. And she... Brushes your hair back, cut your hair a little bit, gives you a nice shave while you're talking to her. And uh, and then we cut off his hand and gave it to Mordecai to do whatever he wanted to do with it. And now she nicks uh, you a little bit uh, when you say that. Oh my god, oh, so sorry. And then she just like sticks a little piece of a uh, cotton to it to make it to to well up. Well, hmm. we kind of didn't have a choice. He wanted to get rid of it. I don't know. Uh, whatever. But either way, um, our friend, uh, unfortunately, was scooped up by a white dragon brought to Tiamat's lair, and now he's wearing some kind of armor and flying a black dragon and doing all kinds of don't know what, what's going on with him. So, we have to... Hell sucks, by the way. Ah, indeed it does. I've uh, kept. I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. Um, so we're we have to go get the person out of the demon zapper, which is probably not going to be a good thing because then there won't be a demon zapper, and then head to the crypt of the hell riders, and then and then head somewhere else. I forgot the third place. Mm. What was it? Third place. Uh, we have to go to the demon zapper. Uh, to get the key, which helps. No, I, uh, was, go... I was even now. Was, was the... oh, so... <laughs> <laughs> she nods like she doesn't care. Um, <laughs> very well. And she, she's got the information she wants, you know. Um, I've kept up with Mind of the Bargain, as you can see. And she takes a few steps back and she draws back a curtain. And you see Saren. No, he's seated at a table lit by a candle because it's dark in the room otherwise because it's a tent and he's reading a book. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Oh, hey, hey guys, what's up? I feel so rested. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, he's back. All right, you're reading. Can you comprehend that? It's a picture book. <laughs> oh shit! At least you're not peeing on it. Yeah, he's a European. Oh. <laughs> All right. No, I, I peed a while ago. <laughs> well, thank you so much for doing that. And uh, if we find out any more information, we will definitely let you know. 
Uh, she says, uh, I appreciate what you've done, and uh, I look forward to working with you in the future. I have much to report to him that sees everything. Yeah, I just know that you're probably really pissed off to you, Matt. So that's a good thing, right? Her eyes sparkle. Oh, yes. Good indeed. So, well, thanks for the trim. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for recovering Saren's mind for us. It'll help us in the future. It was my pleasure. I hope to see you soon again. And uh, on behalf of Bahamut, uh, we thank you. May his uh, shiny carapace shine all bright. Um. <laughs> Not bad. Agreed. Right. All right. Uh, Saren, you want to come with us on an adventure? Adventure! <laughs> <laughs> and he yeah. starts running with the book in his hand. Yeah, I'm going. Hey, hey, those better not have scissors. <laughs> yeah, so you're get you're not sure if he's 100% or not. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> was he ever 100%? <laughs> yes, he was. I don't Are want you to get sure? <laughs> I don't know if he was ever 100%. <laughs> He might have been like 80 or 90, but he was never 100. All right. Well, he seems to be 100% Saren, from what you recall. So I bring right. Saren over to Badger. I'm like, Sarah, uh, Saren, look, this is Badger. <laughs> Badger's one of the ones that helped rescue you when we first got met up. And then was that was the guy that was a scorch mark on the deck, remember? My cousin? Oh, uh, yeah. He, he looks more human now. <laughs> well <laughs> said. More stupid now? He looks bigger than what that scorch mark was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently it's, he was sent to hell and has been surviving down here for the last X amount of months. Oh, all right. That should be cute. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. is this person? Did he bring us our drinks? He's a he's a a good friend of ours that uh, helped us in many of adventure. He uh, he sort of took your spot when you disappeared. Bye. He's a good uh, he's a good mate to have in a fight. Well, he's a little eccentric, but he's still good. Well, this place is no place for someone who can't defend himself. Oh, he can defend himself. He's actually what? pulled our our ass out of the fire a couple times. Well, good to hear. Uh, Welcome to Malaw. Don't forget to bring your own food. <laughs> Speaking of which, we probably should resupply. Uh, we can get some supplies from the regular store area instead of the magic one. Um, yeah, so you can totally fill up. Um, you get re restocked, and uh, Badger, as you're walking about, uh, the the demon who Draylock, who was your former master, uh, sees you walking hmm. by, and he says to you, "Have you found the mute?" No, he chooses not to be seen or shown himself. Too scared, I imagine. I have a lead for you. You do? Indeed, I do. But of course, it will cost you. Hmm. How much are we talking? You either work for me for 50 years or you pay me 5,000 gold. Mm. I know where he is. Five does. How about two soul coins? Wait, can we even hear this conversation? 
I no, I think he just lie. kind of like pulls him aside. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do, uh, sidebar, is it available in the group loot or did like what a soul coins were? There is no, we have no idea exactly what a soul coin is worth because the last time we talked about <laughs> those salamanders kept changing it. They're like, <laughs> but they're they're pretty worth. They're worth a lot. So there's 17. We have 17 of them. So if you wanted to throw, a, a, you know, two or three of them at them to see if he's oh, okay. worth it. I would say they're probably at least a couple thousand gold a piece, at least. Yeah, he'll. Um, I know where I can get my hands on a, on a few soul coins. It would take fifteen at least. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the greedy ass bastards! <laughs> it's fucking greedy in hell. <laughs> Damn omnipotent. DMs, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and uh, how much do we have left over in the group loot? It still says thirty four hundred platinum. Yeah, we spent two thousand gold. Oh, okay. so we still have thirty four thousand gold, or thirty three thousand well, gold, thirty six thousand basically. Almost okay. thirty-six thousand. Okay. Let me go. We have a we have a special Tiamat, um, uh, mask helmet thing crown that you could have. <laughs> He'll um. So he's he's back to talking. So five thousand gold, and you'll tell me where I can find them. Yes. I'll put it in writing. I am a devil, of course, not a demon. My word is bond. Get your contract written out. I'll be back. And Badger's going to go tell Silver and them that I've got a deal and <sighs> the thing that pulled me down here Thing that killed my parents. I have a lead to find him. I need to go after him. If I can, it should release me from this place and I'll catch up with you. But I need 5,000 of the gold that's left in that bag. I'm okay with it. You gotta talk to the rest of the group and ask yeah. them. Uh, they'll hardly miss it. Well, well, Thorbeck is not holding the bag of falling. So <laughs> That's fine. You have to at least ask him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but do I? <laughs> All right. Uh, um, he'll go to the group and tell them the offer he's got. Okay, what do you say, group? He's got this mission to go on, and he needs just a little bit of the the gold in the go in the bag but he's got to go alone and he will catch up if he can good luck take the cash yeah all right i'll suggest the group of minus okay where is it where is my Badger takes. I don't know if he's like a high five kind of guy or just like a <laughs> peace out. <laughs> no, I I shake his hand no. and give him, a, and give him a, a bro hug and pat his back and say, <laughs> be, be safe, my friend. Uh, so now we have twenty nine hundred and thirty four platinum pieces. Got it. All right. You see Badger Actually, walk away and he is talking to a pit fiend as you leave the wandering emporium. He knows where we're, he know, he knows where we're going mm -hmm. and uh, he can catch up if he needs us. So um at least now he's on the other side instead of the captured side. Um this 
bronze crown with the uh that we got back in the temple or that weird thing i gonna run back to the barber mm -hmm. and ask her if she wants it the bronze crown with five spires each spire shaped and painted to resemble one of the five kinds of chromatic dragons blue black blue blue red we got i tell him i tell her we got this off a cultist at some point would this be useful to you at all oh with a bit of subterfuge in disguise perhaps it would be maybe bribe it somebody that's someone vain and they want something sexy to put on i don't know <laughs> she's like uh, i wasn't thinking that angle but uh May yeah, maybe. But, you know what I mean. They, maybe these guys, these guys are these guys are fanatics, right? And if they they're like, oh my god, that's like the best thing ever. Like, that'll totally prove that I love her with all my heart, you know. And you're like, yeah, whatever. Now, how about I give you this? And you, I'm not kink shaming you. I just yeah, it's yeah, whatever you like. <laughs> it, it's uh, uh, all right. Hey. It's your uh, again. Uh, thank you. Good day. And I run back to the group and said, um, uh, we resupply, <laughs> Gary. How much, uh, how much money do we spend on resupply? 100 gold? Uh, max. Like, depends on what you're getting. Probably nothing. 45 gold. Well, I didn't know what it is to get, like, real food. Not like, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. not maybe, like glass shards. It may be, it may be 30, 30 gold total. Okay, 30 gold. I'll take that out of there. Because uh, you you uh, saw Critical Role as mm -hmm. I read on the Critical Role, and they had when they went down to like the the Brass City, and they they like got food, but it was like meat with like glass shards in it, and, yeah, or bone shards in it, and, stuff and that's like how that. it is here too. In in fact, if unless you want to dine at um, uh, I forgot what it's called the yeah, but I'm totally cooking mine. It's still everything, even, no matter how pristine it is, when you eat it in hell, it tastes like ash and sour and spoil. Yeah, super fun. And the the good thing about the the restaurant at the Wandering Emporium is that it's in a it's in a demi plane. And uh so that when you eat there it's actually like eating actual a meal. Do uh what was it the cost to do that again? It was Google Drive. It was something stupid like five. Well, I think it was five soul coins for so one soul coin piece or something. Two soul one. soul coins per person. Yeah. yeah, that seems really expensive. All right, boys and girls. Wink at Saren. Uh, we we gonna go. Or do we want to look for something else? I mean, I think we got everything we need. I don't know what everybody else. I think that uh, wand is going to help you immensely. It's huge. It's game changer. <laughs> I have, a, I have a, a gameplay question. Um, so that obsidian dragon plate armor is considered magical or non-magical? Uh, I don't know. Let me take a look here. I think it's... So, mainly because of this infusion that I can uh, place on any suit of armor or shield. Uh, as long as it's a non-magical suit or shield. It is a non-magical suit. It says heavy armor plate. It is a legendary item, but it, it does not say that it's a magical piece of armor. Awesome. Thank you. Does anyone else see that differently? Well, on plate, it's under plate. Obsidian flint dragon plate. It is a plus two Where to AC. You? Where is it at? Yes. Just put in the uh, compendium. Just type in obsidian. Obsidian. Uh, 
Yeah, and then you gain advantage on um, yeah, it seems some like ability it. checks and savings. It seems like it's yeah, magical, right. but I don't know why. It yeah, doesn't list it as a... I should look at... Uh... I mean, I think it's magical. Yeah, what is the what is the mithril what is the mithril shirt? Oh, it's the elven um, oh, mithril on. armor. Yeah, that's that's that basically lists, plus two plus. Yeah, yeah, it is magical. So yeah, so it lists is uncommon. Yeah, so, but comma this is, this comma more blank, than any legendary your little your little ability. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, right. So it it is magical then. Okay. Yeah. Well, you could have a shield. You have a magic shield, right? You could have the shield and use one plus one. So you'll have a your enhanced defense can be on the shield and not the plate. Yeah, it may not necessarily. Uh, uh, well, yeah, that'd be that'd be. If it's not better than what you can do with your artificer, then maybe somebody else could wear it. Oh, it's better. Uh, currently, it is not. Um, How is it not better? Hold on, be what? Right well, I mean, I mean, dude, what I can do, what I can do is not better. That's what. I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was gonna say because you can make it a plus one suit of armor, and this is a plus two suit of armor, right? With and with, with extra stuff. And, it's in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. and <laughs> you just it comes with a rep. You can say I took this off the dead yeah. body. Of Archon the Cruel, right? That's got to get you some points with the Ar ladies. Was it Archon the Cruel, or was it the other guy, the Turtle? No, that was Archon. No, it was the Turtle. We didn't get anything. He was yeah. a like a clear. We got dude. them all. We got them all. Yeah, that's Crawl. That's right. Right. Uh but again, the where, if you don't right. have a magic shield, you can put the enhanced <laughs> defense on your shield, and that'll give you your plus one armor class. Yeah. So you'll have a shield with three, and this gives you eighteen. So that is. 21 armor class right then yeah that'd be great um that can't be right no the the obsidian you're 20 plus two so you're 23 you'd be 20 you have a better armor class than 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 uh, thorbrick 23 and then 28 with shield spell <laughs> <coughs> I guess, yeah, it's, a, it's it would become a little bit of a sticking point at tenth level uh, when I get to have more infusions and I can consider my armor as four pieces. Sure. Then I'm I might be better off with just non magical plate, but me don't have to worry about that right now. Just wanted to clarify. So I guess before we leave this, maybe I should look for a shield. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure we can find a shield. Look up the price of the player's handbook and take it out of here. <laughs> Just dump the, I, I mean, they're... does anybody know how to get rid of it? I have an extra macro button in my little bar. It's not one I made. It's sneak attack. The attack is kind of shortened. Do y'all have it? Because it's sparing an eye. I don't have any macros. Hmm. I don't no, I'm not seeing anything on a triple <laughs> micro, and I don't have anything tied to my uh, token. Macros, macros are people that know what they're doing, or for people that know what they're doing. Alrighty. No, that's not true. I use macros, and okay. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <clears throat> well, if they work, then you know what you're doing. Okay, well, I guess I know what I'm doing. Because <laughs> I tried to do macros and I fuck them up. Before we uh, before we leave this traveling circus or whatever it's called, um, I'd like to buy a shield. Okay. Shield is twenty five soul coins. One million soul coins. It is so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll whatever it is in PHP. Over. Or 10 gold. Done. <laughs> I wonder, 
wander back over to the uh, to the, the salamanders and uh, uh, yeah, tangled. And uh, in primordial, we'll ask them for if they have any shields in stock, and we'll buy them. And uh, they gibberish back to you in primordial. What do you know of shields? And they look at your armor like you need shield. It wouldn't hurt. <laughs> right, point of shield wouldn't hurt. I like you. You take it free. Free for ten gold. <laughs> so Gary is shard fart your uh, a character your character in WoW or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just kind of popped in my head just uh, as we were talking. Yeah, I'll take the shield. All right. Free for 10 gold. Free for 10 gold. Excellent. Cool. All right. Head out. To the demon zapper. To the zapper of the demons. All right. Uh, it's not far from where you are, the Tower of Erm. The Demon Zapper, the Wandering Pour in between. And you see, as you approach, it's massive, huge tower looming above the land. A radiant light cascades from rusted metal monuments shaped like upraised mandibles of a giant beetle. And in between, you see just like this, this glowing orb. Uh, are we on the same map? The map map? Yeah. Davernus map. Yeah, so it's yep. like that orb in between, just like every like 45, 60 seconds ago, you hear it just like as you grow closer. It shoots out a bolt of energy. And you see just just like something disintegrate, whatever it touches. And then it slowly starts to rebuild the energy. Is a homunculus a demon? It it's a construct. Okay. He is just hot. making sure. He's so hot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's what you see as you approach. Um, you get to a point where the uh, Hellraiser cannot go through. Boulders are too high. The terrain is too rough. You'll have to park and walk up if you choose to approach. Yeah. Everyone yeah. remember where we parked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone uh, take a picture of the closest boulder <laughs> so we know. This one has an A7 on it. So we're by the A7 boulder. <laughs> I got it. Do you guys have Bush Gardens? Swan your 6. Phone or? <laughs> It, Italy three. Um, <laughs> okay. So you walk up and uh, you see several creatures milling about the, uh, the base of it. So oh, before we leave, we, mm -hmm. we would have had like a short rest or something, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh, why do you need a short rest? You were resting the entire time. We have 10 minutes, so we'd sit and eat and rest and get ready. So. I oh, you're doing your thingy. Your yeah, stuff. I have a short rest. So I can't click my macro. Man. Uh, you, did, you did earlier. It's <laughs> all the macro. Well, my aid macro. My macro, I set it for the aid spell. <laughs> so, Sorry. So, aid. <laughs> I don't know if I want this character back now. Fifth level. And so... Charted 15 hit points. Wow. I don't know why my back... Let's see. Five. So that's 20 hit points to... Saren. Jason's not here anymore. So, and Traitus. There's a bunch of old characters on, our, on the map now. 
Um, who is Ignis? Bad, I didn't see the character. Saren, oh, there, there. Ignis, the ones on the map here. Oh, okay. And I was looking at that. And Sliver. All right. 20 temporary hit points. We'll take that all day. All and day. This one will work. Where is the inspiring leader? To everyone. And so add 12 on top of that. So 32? Yeah. The 20 is added to your maximum hit points. Mm -hmm. And so when they go down and you heal, it can go back up to 20. But the 12 is temporary, but I can refresh the 12 every short rest. Wow. So that's 32 extra hit points, man. That's like amazing. Mm -hmm. So everybody gets 12 temporary hit points, and Saren, Sliver, and... Ignis get the 20 bonus to their hit point maximum. So how does that work? Is he like a, go around wow. give everybody like high fives and stuff while we're like camping out <laughs> waiting before the uh, the demon zapper? I mean, you see it off well, in the just, distance and you're like, you're able to chill out a little bit before you have to walk up there. Yeah. The aid is a spell, but the inspiring leader would say, okay, guys, we're going to go out there. We're going to kick ass. It's good yeah. to have you back, Saren. Good to be back. And Forget come back. Forget about... It's all that D, man. All that major defense, man. It's all you. And so, yeah. Like, high school coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see Thorbrek. He's looking down at the shield. <laughs> they beat it off a rock every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fuck off. Bam! Uh, since we have a long rest, uh, no, have we had a long rest? No. Uh, the, it, yeah. We haven't. Yeah, sure, we have sure. a long rest. We haven't uh, done anything. Since the, yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, all right. So here's what you see as you creep up. Do you want to make a stealth check? I mean, how, how do you want to approach the tower? You, you do see, I'll give uh, Evelio's um, sliver a, a check to see. Maybe a perception check or perception. 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 Ooh. Twenty-seven wow. perception. Yeah, so you're able to sneak up nice and close, and you see a few creatures walking around the base of this tower. And uh, you, you you see the same thing every forty-five to sixty seconds or so. It shoots off and just like it obliterates a demon or if it's in a straight line more than one demon and you look up and you see a faint figure is trapped within the orb you're unable to tell from this distance exactly what it is but you do see several figures walking around the base as if they're patrolling uh can i recognize what they are you can with that role uh one of them is a bone devil you see a couple of chain devils and you see a creature floating above the ground in robes that you recognize as a Tao. Okay. Make my way back to the group. And what are the numbers looking like? That's it. That's it. Just those four uh, yeah. or three things. Yeah, you you got a great view from a good vantage point with that roll, and you're you're sure that's all you saw. All right. So I worked my way back. I let them know there's a demon with a spine devil, a chain devil, and whatever that one that like carries at last. Wow. Place. Did I see an entrance into the tower at all? Yeah, the Dow is uh, right in front of it. Yeah, I I I only remember what it's called. I don't remember what it actually looks like. It's called a Dow, and uh, there's the they're guarding the entrance to the tower. And I st those are all devils, correct? Uh, except for the Dow. Okay. Uh, I think Ignis White would probably speak up at that point. Uh, I. That's what you see. The The bottom half appears 
like a mist or smoke or something. As a half half primordial. Hmm. Okay. Does that sound fair? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I mean, I think what you know is that they're uh, part of the part of a genie family. Uh, oh. Very powerful earth creatures. Of course. Fucking A. Uh, they have the ability to travel, I think, uh, Tratus. I mean, not Tratus. Sorry. I've got Tratus there, too. You're gone. <laughs> Tratus is dead. So are they like everything else? Just, just hit them really hard and they go down? <laughs> uh, you know that they can, as part of uh, their movement, travel through the earth as if they were walking. And it doesn't even disturb the earth. They can just travel down through the earth as if they're walking across it with no uh, with no difference, no difference in their movement. Oh no. So they're like ghosts in the ground. So do we wanna fight these things? Do we wanna try and sneak by them? What are you guys what are you guys thinking? Well, I, you know, the question is, is we're here to get the key. Is the key in the light? Is that's what's making it shine? Or is the key in the actual? Well, he said key. that it was a person. And I looked up at the light and there is a humanoid, uh, humanoid figure with a light. I figure you couldn't tell. And just, okay. how could you say that? Just blast the demon, just like coming over a hill behind you. So I'm assuming as soon as we go to free whatever is in that light, these things are all going to come after us. We're not going to be able to do it without... They're going to notice that the, the light's gone out. Yep, but she's the key. Maybe I right. can go look. Sure. Yeah, could you do it really quietly, Lulu? Be I'm careful, really be quiet. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let me go look. Fuck. Da, 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 da. She flies. Uh, you don't want them to see me at the bottom. Correct. She she flaps off. She flies over. And you see, just like she lose sight of her. She's so small, and there's like bloody clouds. And nothing. She sure is taking her time. Maybe it's after. And then you see some no. stirring. And uh, Lulu comes flying back. Uh, that thing needs our help. She's so okay. sad in there. What? Did she speak uh, to you? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's no, okay. No. I... But I'm... It makes me sad too. It's like watching I a public commercial at Christmas time. It's so <laughs> sad. I, I pat Lulu on the back. It's okay. Did it's you, okay. Did you recognize who that might be? Was she yeah. originally a Hellrider? It seems like the Hellriders are uh, right down here. There was a horse inside, but it had a of course a horn on the front of its head. A unicorn? I don't know what you call it. A this. rhinoceros? Yeah, maybe a rhinoceros, yes. <laughs> a narwhal? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I think that's it, narwhal. <laughs> All right, well, let's get this thing out of there. It's being tortured. We need to free it anyway. All right, so should we sneak in, get the get the rhinoceros out of the light, and then when they come up to kill us, we'll be able to maybe direct the rhinoceros at them and it, it could blow them away. What about that? And Lulu looks at you. I tried to, it shocked the crap out of me. Um, I think you have oh. to bring down the whole tower. But you'll Great. have to get past those guys first. Hmm. So I think we're going to have to fight them. All right. 
Do we want to drive the car in there? Or? Well, the car can't get in. Remember? <laughs> the rocks would stop in it. All right. So, uh, sneak up. I can sneak up ahead and look for an ambush point, and you guys come in from outside, and I will flank. Does that sound good? What the hell are you talking about? I will sneak ahead, and you guys go in one direction, and I will be flanking so I can stab something in the back and really hard. Do you want to go off to, to their right or to their left, Sliver? I'm gonna I'm gonna head off. To, I'm gonna head to the right because it'll be towards the tower. If we are basically walking up to it like we are on the screen right now, mm -hmm. I will stay close to the tower and, okay. and use the shadow of the tower and the rocks gotcha. to move closer. I'll put you off to the east then. And who wants to lead the way from the other vanguard? It's, plus, it's really hard to be, you know, stealthy with the flaming head guy. No offense. <laughs> Yeah, but that looks normal down here. They could see that and assume it's a forest fire or green, something. But it's still hard to hide. He has an Atlanta Braves hat he can just like throw over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that only lasts a minute because then it just burns up and falls off. <laughs> well, yeah, can... people are used to those hats being burned up. I want to know why Stair and Ignis are so big and we're so small. <laughs> Don't get a complex. Um, mm. uh, I'm so worried about that. My, my helm... Well, stop well. looking when I go to the bathroom. <laughs> so uh, we are on the big map, Gary. I don't know if you switch maps on us or anything. Um, I'm I think he's waiting one, for us but... to determine. <laughs> All right. I would also go ahead and say during that that short rest that I reattuned my armor and switched models. Cool. So I'm a little more of a rangy guy now. Okay. Cool. All right, so the rest of you sneak up on the other side. More importantly, I no longer have disadvantage. Oh, fuck. All right. So this is what you see. I'll pull you back a little bit. It's probably a little too close. Beater, those fucking... So they're large. So you're kind of like looking over the the ledge of that, and, and they're they're walking around, uh, just like guards. Thor Rick, you recognize that as guards on patrol, walking in a circle around the uh, tower. It looks like a giant beetle. Yeah. That's so cool. yeah. So between those two huge uh like Mandibles. beetle claws there's like crackles of light and the orb is suspended in between them and every once in a while a bolt of energy fires out and it crackles the demon to death um can they see us because we i feel like we, we're pretty out in the open you guys are tucked down just on the uh, other side of the little plateau that they're sitting upon. Okay. What do you do? Uh, should we uh, should we try to talk to these folks or just rush out and attack? So you're on many ideas. You've been out of this for a little bit. Maybe of a fresh perspective. I don't know. Those things scare me. Especially that one that, that, that goes through the ground like a ghost. But, but I, I got your back. Way back. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. All right, Thorbrig, Ignis, any ideas? Should we just jump into this, or does anybody have any spells? I can, I mean, I can try to cast, um, shit. Let's see. Uh, 40 feet. Let's see if that works. Uh, be, I think I'd be able to get them both if I cast. Yeah. 
I guess I could cast slow on these two. That hopefully would shut them down somewhat. Charlie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn, my kidney. So let's, uh, let's roll initiative, and then we'll do stealth rolls. All right. Oh, not yet, not yet. Oh. All right, go ahead. Fuck. It's okay. You kind of want to go last, don't you? <laughs> well, if I cast a spell that slows them down, I want to go first, so that way they minimize the damage. Actually, yeah, I may just want to go first because you can fireball groups and shit. Uh, it's your mm. clerics that want to go last because they usually heal up the aftermath. All right, everyone. Okay, Saren. Uh, make a stealth check, please. Ooh, okay. And I'll just do one group based off this guy's stats. No. All right, so that guy's not surprised. Let's do the others, too. Perception. Okay. The Dow is surprised. Oof. So the cha just the Dao is surprised. So, Saren, you are up to go. You see the Dao looking over maybe towards where um, Evelius is, but you're not sure. God, I hope not. <laughs> I hope I roll better than that. Um... Concentration. That's... I'm going to blindness, deafness, the, he said the bone devil is what is catching his eye. Uh, no, the Dow. Oh, that's the only one that the other ones seem unsurprised. Yeah. The other ones look right at you. Yes. Pretty much. Oh. The Dow doesn't. I want to blindness, deafness, the. Bone Devil, the one that's closest. Got it. And the save is? There you go. 15. Ooh, con. Oh, he fails. Uh, oh. Nice. Oh, wait. No, he has advantage. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Double check. Oh. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, and then he slowly kind of backs around behind Thorbrick. He, he's looking right at me. <laughs> uh, Ignis. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm gonna cast that. Ooh. So twenty foot cube. On the down. And the save is a dex. Fail. 
fails. Awesome. Okay. Stereo. Um, well, so I need to, uh, yeah, I think I want to spread out. So I'm going to move up as stealthily as possible along this wall here. <clears throat> I think once you shoot the web, it may not be. Yeah. <laughs> I've given away my position. Perhaps. And the uh, is it Burninator? <laughs> yeah. Little Fire? Yeah, Whatever his name is currently? Yeah, yeah. He, he, uh, he's just going to tag along with me. Okay. All right, Thorbrek. Alrighty. Well, I think I'll uh, move forward and say hello. I'll click with my boots and I'll move up there. Okay. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> There's no place like combat. Ah, you miss. Oh, the second hits. Okay. And that's it for me. Break off some of his bones. Sliver. All right. I'll do my stealth to see if anyone saw me. Get to that point. That is not my right character. I was looking at something else. Stealth. Twenty one. So from my vantage point, I will grab a plus one arrow and draw it in my short bow. And fire it at these guys because they have not gone yet. Mm -mm. Oh, oh. That is not the button. <laughs> but it's. Okay, let's keep the roll. Yeah. yeah. Just to get the damage rate. So the short bow. Ah, uh, that's not it. So I gotta do that twice. So I do. Uh, 30, twenty-one. Four. Twenty. Yeah, thirty-four. Thirty. Five, because it's a plus one weapon. Hmm. So thirty-five points of damage. Nice. Penny between the shoulder blades. Ah. And spins around. I, I then move five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty to here, and dash five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30 to there. Okay. Chain Devils. Move to here. Move to here. And you see all around you on the ground, links of chain. And they oh. will both spin their actions and they like raise their hands up like towards the sky, up and down, up and down. And you see chains from the ground with pieces of barbed uh, edges on them rise from the ground. That's their turn. Casanova. All right. Um, I will cast. Um, see if this works. Uh, blindness and deafness on the um, the white devil thing right there. The bone thingy. Think. Spine though, right? Spine, spine, yeah. Okay. Save is a seventeen. Uh, oh yeah, uh, it's a yeah constitution. He has advantage. Uh, okay. Fuck. 
Still we are. Take that as a yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll take I'll take a cue from Siren and back up. Um. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Quick point of order: Is the uh, chain devil moved into the whip? Into what? The whip. Into the whip. Which one? This guy here. Uh, so he has to make a save. Dex, please. Yeah. Uh, he makes. Makes. Okay. Thank you. Um, the Dow. Hmm. What shall they do? So, what's the web? Um, uh, difficult, difficult terrain. Um, so Twenty foot cube. So five feet around the the dow. Twenty foot cube. Difficult terrain. Restrained. It's restrained. Uh, as long as it remains in the webs. If it fails, it's safe. Uh, it can make a strength check against the DC 18 to break free. Restrained. Disadvantage on attacks. On Sp speed zero. Disadvantage on dex saves and attacks. Attacker disadvantage. Okay. Hmm. He will cast a spell. Oh, Jesus. Do we get advantage on our saving throws, too? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastical um, killer. DC zero? I can make that. <laughs> so, Ignis, uh, he looks at you for casting a web on him, and you see something from your past. I don't know if it's a defeated foe uh, or a lost loved one. But uh, make a wisdom saving throw, please. Mm, DC is a 14. Okay. All right. You take 24 psychic damage. And you are frightened. Okay. You be scared. Um, I need a con save. Web is concentration. Uh, if he wants to move, right? Uh, oh, right. All right. For the damage. Yeah, my bad. So you need a 12. So 12. I need a 12. Oh, just made it. Just <laughs> made it. All right. Okay. Uh, Bone Devil. Ooh, Thorbrek. You're right there. Nice. 11, 11, 15. <laughs> and you poke back for, and you poke back for a 14 is a miss. You poke straight through his rib cage into thin air. And Saren. And Saren's oh, point. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hiding in the crate with Cassie. <laughs> uh, it's the lover's crate. <laughs> Uh, I think this one is a 20 foot cube. Let me take a quick measurement. <coughs> okay. I'm going to try and fairy fire. 
a cube so it fits around them. So. One, two, three, four. No, it won't fit either one. Uh, I'm going to try and... Yeah, those two will work. So we'll concentrate fire on this guy, I guess. So. 20 foot cube. Oh, yeah, yeah, just work in the web. Yeah. It's feather fall? No, it's... Oh, crap. Fairy fire. Okay. Two guys close to each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they fall very fall. gently. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, DC 15, deck save. On both, okay. Thank you. Which they have. This is for the yeah, guy. Everybody has advantage. Makes. Pass. Double. Come on. Roll like you do against Ign Ignis. <laughs> is, the, is, the, is the Dow still? Oh, yeah. Fails. Um. So he's lit the up. Still restrained. Uh, the the doubt is still restrained. Three. So it's a deck save. He does get disadvantage. So it's a straight. So they're both. Thank you for pointing that out. So cool. It's, yeah. Sweet. So that's how you stack spells. Great. Yeah. No. Good point. Strain disadvantage on deck saves. Yep. I'll move up that way. I didn't mean to rock. They are lit up. Um, okay, Siren. I mean, Ignis. Yeah. I'm just going to fire a couple of shots at that. Chain devil. Uh, it's advantage, right? Yep. Yes. Lightning launcher. Nice. 22. Mm hmm. Eight. And again, 15. Nope. That misses. Great. And then uh, there's some. Extra damage. So 17 total lightning damage. Nice. <laughs> Looks like he stuck a fork in a light socket. <laughs> he licked a nine volt. Uh, okay, Thor break. Oh. Oh, that does it. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to move the Burninator real quick. Oh, okay. The 17 misses. Damn. Then I'll move around. Okay. All right, slipper. All right. I move up. Now, is this guy on my shoulder or is he just near me? Just near Yeah, me. near you. Am I flanking here, Gary? Here, yeah. Here. Either or. Either. Okay. I like it there. Uh, I will mosey on up to this thing and. Oh, really good. Stab him in the back and miss with a 14. And I will do an offhand silver short sword. Does an 18 hit? 18 misses. Just misses. And I stay here. 
What can I? I can do dodge, stealth, or uh, disengaged, dash, and what else? Let's see. Can I dodge? Yes. Dodge, disengage. No, uh, dash. hide. Dash, disengage, or hide. So oh, I'm right, 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 right. That's right. Uh, chain devils. Ooh, they pick up the chains. And they attack. This one attacks Thorbrick. Except he has four more chains. Jesus. A... And then he moves to here. <laughs> I feel like I clicked it. <laughs> Neither. Um, oh, it's in web. He can't move. Uh, he didn't get restrained, but he's in uh difficult terrain okay and if they start or enter the the area at the start of their turn they have to make another deck save okay thank you Ooh. uh 18 18 is what you need all right And he will, let's see, chains, working on the chain, chain, yeah, he can't reach you from there, let's just go, ooh, the dial, uh, she will try to break free, actually, she will cast a spell. Spell caster. <coughs> oh, wait. Uh, oh, so Ignis. Let's see here. At the end of each of the target's turns, you also need to make a wisdom save at the end of your turn, Ignis. Oh, mm. So you take Phantasmal Killer 40 10 psychic damage. Yeah. It hurts your brain. brain. Oh, you take 18 psychic damage. So roll the con save to keep the web up. Psychic damage. Ouch. Um, DC 10. Yeah, 10 on the console. <coughs> All right. Barely. So the console. <laughs> uh, and then she will. Hmm. She casts Gash's farm. And she just vanishes from view. Flying feet of 10 feet. You smell popcorn? Five. <laughs> ten. There, I think. Um, okay. That's our guy. Casanova. All right. Um... Uh, still has fairy fire on her, I believe. 
Oh, does she? Yeah, does she still have fairy fire? Mm -hmm. That's right. But she's in a gaseous form. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I don't even know if what I'm going to do would hurt. Um, I kind of really want to wrap her up a bit. Um, I'm going to cast Wall of Force, but I'm going to do it mm. as a spear. I'm going to do it as a spear around her. Awesome. A sphere or a spear? A spear. So basically, I'm um, the gaseous form that she is. There's basically a sphere. You can cast the wall as a sphere around her. Oh, cool. The radius up to 10 feet. That should work. Really. Yeah, makes it a 20 <laughs> foot Perfect. diameter. So she has a spell save of 17. For... <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. Sorry, bro. <laughs> uh, nothing can pass through the wall. Nothing can pass through either way. No, she the... can't go to the ethereal plane. Uh, there is no save. No, there is no. There is no save. She just, it doesn't hurt or anything. Oh. Her. It populates the save DC on everything. Oh, that's right. So there is none. It's just automatic. Okay. And the only thing that breaks through it is dispel magic. Or not to spell, uh, to disintegrate. And teleport. I think so. Oops, sorry. <laughs> no, I don't think teleport works. Yeah. Are you sure? It's, yeah. You can teleport any place you can see. And you can see through it. Yeah, but it's a wall, so she can't see. Invisible wall of force. Invisible, okay. you can't see it. It, you just can't go into the ethereal plane because it's in the ethereal plane. So if like uh, if you did a phase spider, the phase spider couldn't get out. That's cool, man. New toys, new toys. All right, and I will stay here. Now, if you shake it, is there like the little little sparkles that come? Okay. Down? Uh, bone devil. Door break. Advantage. Oh, fucking jack shit. 18, tw oh, 26 hits, 24 hits. Ouch. 20. Oh. Uh, right, 26 hits, I'm sorry. I'm going... Go ahead. Oh, on Sliver? No. Mm hmm. So, Door break. No, sorry. Oh, yeah, Thor. The Twenty-four. I'm going to do cutting words. Ah. Nope. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> almost. It's like it's almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so take some damage there. Thor break. I also did eighteen. Okay. I made both save. Yeah. Dwarf power. Okay. So you're not poisoned, but do you still take the damage? And it's Saren's turn. Saren. Saron. Mm. 855. FYI. FYI. I yeah. can't drive 55. <laughs> they really don't have that much. Mm. God, I wish Badger was back. Two <laughs> rugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. Ah, oh, damn, it's concentration. I was going to be like, con uh, cast silence around her while she's in the sphere and she can't teleport out. Um, you hear a voice from the creature in between the globe. Help me. 
What kind I of cast? Dissonant whispers on the bone devil. Because I don't have any other way to really do damage. But okay. Uh, Wiz, thank you. Wiz, yeah. Sliver, we're trying to concentrate fire on the thing over here. Oh, it failed. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna be over here helping Thorbrick. Thorbrick doesn't need help. <laughs> yes, he does. You got a tank right there with you. Yeah, but we need to concentrate fire on these things before they restrain us. All right, so I'll move around and kill this thing. With... I already kept this one for a bunch of damage, so he's wounded. All right, so on a failed save, it must use its action, its reaction to move as far away. Hold on a second. Is it scared? It's a scared. Yep. So, so it must uses move. Its reaction to run away. Yeah. Yeah. And they get re they get their opportunity attack. But where are you? That's what that spell does. And where are you? No, where me? Are you? I'm over here. But I'm a casting it on that. Oh, okay. He moves this way then. Yay, I'm gonna go attack him. Attacky, oh. attacky. Uh, with advantage. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I hit him very hard. Oh, that's a lot of. <laughs> uh, that's a lot. Of, so thirty. Somebody get the calculator 40, out. Do you have a scientific calculator? Forty-six plus nineteen is sixty. Sean's as bad at, at math as I am. So somebody 65. please. <clears throat> okay. Thank I got you. It. Nice. Yeah. I like I like chopped off his arm or his tail before he left. Yeah, his wing, both of his wings and his left arm are just falling off. He's just like trying to creep away. He snarls back at you, growling. Well done. Nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, Saren, you're done. Yes. Ignis. Ignis is constipated. Right. Oh, I guess, yeah, I can drop that concentration really good. Um, I think that's the, the biggest damage I've done so far, huh? Uh, that's uh, a good one. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still a feared, and I don't like the look of this chain guy moving towards me. <clears throat> and Hit him with some more lightning. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, you hit. Take nine. Oh. Oh. All right. Whoa. That's... Okay then. Uh, you shoot yourself in the foot, Jesus. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> straight, straight lightning goes off and hits Lulu. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Your love is electric. That's. <laughs> 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 So that guy takes 14. Uh, he dies. Sweet. And I'm going to just move Burnator about to there. Burnator in the countryside. The <laughs> door. All right. He farts on over there, and it's Thorbeck's turn. To move around this guy and attack him twice. What 
Oh, that's a hit. Animus. 14 damage. Okay. Still, still struggling. Oh, that's Lulu. it for me. All right, Lulu will fly up. Oh, is that? Sorry, Gary. Is that um, psychic killer, whatever, still affecting me? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Ba -bum -ba -bum 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 Wisdom save, -bum -bum -bum. please. Oh my Psycho God. killer. So bad. <laughs> A whopping nine psychic damage. Wow, nice roll. Lily will, uh, hmm. That's not the burnator, sorry. That was Lulu, that was the homunculus. Homunculus, there he is. Oh, get him! Blow your, your trumpet of sparkles! Oh, con save. Ooh, that's good damage, too. Oh, it's almost max. Oh, he makes oh. it. He still takes more damage than everyone normally did. He still blows up into pieces of bone chime. He's dead. Nice. Do you guys see that? Kick devil demons ass. Awesome. Good job, Lulu. High five from here. Social distance. Uh, <laughs> Sliver, it's your turn. Dun, 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 <laughs> Do you even want the damage, Gary? Oh, the pain train. He has 71 hit points. Tell me what you do to him. All right. 28 plus 12. Uh, oh, okay. Someone has a scientific calculator. Done. How'd you do that so fast? The you typed all that keyboard? That yeah. <laughs> what do you type? Like a thousand words a minute? It's one hand is just a little keypad, number pad. Used to keeping one hand free while typing. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's still up, but he does not look well. Do you have another attack, sir? I do. I, I might as well do my offhand attack. I'm going to stay here for give him advantage. My silvered sword sword. Uh, uh, 20. 25 does hit. Or don't use the look. So for three more points of damage. All right. It's silvered, so it's not magical. So. You run him through. All right. Now we can maybe talk to this person and say, hey, we'll let you out of your bubble there if you just let us take the unicorn. Take the unicorn, you say? Never. She is what fends off the demons from this place. Are you stupid or something? Why do you defend the demons off here? What's the point? What in hell? They're trying to invade us every day. And then it just shuts off like a mortar. But you see up in the in the tower, the unicorn just like it's like bedraggled. You can see like almost like the veins through it, like. Like so, like pale that you can see the the veins throughout its body. And what it's if we weeping. powered it with you instead? Don't be stupid. I'm not more powerful than that. Come and take it if you like. I, I uh, call out in primordial again. Uh, can can we just borrow it for a little while? <laughs> uh, make a. Persuasion check with disadvantage. Disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. Natural twenty. <laughs> this guy's got a job 20. to do. All right. <laughs> I have sworn of an oath to protect this place. Just because you speak my language doesn't mean I'll let you have her on my own. <sighs> it well, just lights up like we, lights of like electricity in between her hands. Come and take her if you please. Uh, well, we, we're here for the key. If she's not the key, 
we just want the key. If she is the key, well, we need her. Do you know anything about the key to... I don't have the map in front of me. What was it called? The key to the Hell uh, Hellraiser pit? The pit of the Hellraiser? Or whatever it was? Basically, we need key to get to the map to the Bleeding Citadel. She ignores you completely. Okay. Uh, well, let's see if we can get a way to get moon color out of there. But the I move up to the tower. Well, she's going to be stuck in there for another, like, yeah, She's about minutes. 150 feet above you. Fuck. Uh, anybody got a demolish spell? That would be a good time for earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> Meteor storm. Uh, oh, wait. I have dispel magic. Uh, I can try to... See if that might get her out of there. Hey, worth a shot, right? Uh, uh, so it's the Sliver's turn. Did you go? Uh, I stabbed the uh, monster. Uh huh. And then I did some talking. So I'm the talking. doll jumps down into the earth. She vanishes. She pops back up, and she attacks you. She can't. Wait a second. How can she do that when she's in the thing? She's in the sphere. What's the sphere? Underneath her. The wall of force. The wall of force. And she goes beneath the wall of force? She, it's a sphere. I don't think she can do that. Oh, the sphere? Okay. Uh, look. I don't want to. I want to make sure. Nothing uh, can physically pass through the wall. It doesn't mean Oh, she did damage. gaseous form before that. So she passed through We caught her while she was in gaseous form. And, and it can't go through it. It's magic. The gaseous form can go through it. Nope. Yep. Huh? Nope. Yep. Nope. <laughs> I mean, you're DM, so oh, it's you're your DM. choice. We're going to do one DM at a time. <laughs> right. Yeah, so if, if you're allowing it, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. All right, so so put it up there. Oh, yeah, sure. Hold on. I don't care. I'll fight it. Let's go. We killed Archon. Oh, You're geez. nothing compared to Archon. Can, can physically pass f through the wall. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's to me that's up to DM's interpretation. So if it's allowed, that that's fine. Into the ethereal plane. Uh, I can't imagine we're going to meet many things that take gaseous form. So I'm. Yeah. Otherwise, why would she like cast a spell? That was the whole point of the. Take care of the spider web. To get out of the web. Ah. That's cool. Let's get along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's tricky. Hmm. Gas is a physical state of matter. I'm thinking physically. Okay. All right. I will give you that. So she will. She vanishes. Now to drop the mic. All right. <laughs> oh, well, that's probably not good. Uh, we should definitely free the horse, uh, like now. Well, that's. All right, guys. We came. We I saw. We way. kicked his ass. Indeed, we did. You should or, have been in the last fight we were in. We or it's waiting to kill us in any minute now. Let's get going. All right. How is the optimist? Does my uh, fear effect end? Effect what? Fear. It's not in view. The fast phantasma. Uh, 
force. The, yeah, it was the fantastic. No, oh, yeah, no, they're not. They're not in view, right? Sorry, what? No, it does not. So I'm still afraid. You're not afraid. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. All right. Can I cast dispel magic? A huge bolt of lightning. Oh, fuck. Appears out of them. And Lilith's like, break it, break it, Thorbeck. You were born for this shit. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i'll bite I'll, hey uh, uh hey uh that mall probably would work really good the mall's gone thor oh. she, and like she rushes down she's like thor she like pushes thor right do it break the stupid thing help it yeah i guess i'll try to break it all right making a tech roll Everyone make an attack roll if you want to try to break it. I, uh, I'd like to try to cast Shatter against the base of it. I okay. Got, I, do what you do. I got nothing that will do anything to it. So. Oh, yeah. 30. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> Fireball. Oh, boy. Yeah, the fireball I'll cast to spell magic on the actual thing. Yeah, <laughs> it has no effect. God damn. Uh, you can see Thorbreak breaking pieces of it off. It's starting to, sh to shatter into pieces as it falls down. I think this is more of a his job than an our job, Sarum. <laughs> and Thorbreak looks at you like, am I the only one hitting this thing? Uh, uh, well, anybody got a hammer or something? I can hit with a hammer. I mean, I'm not gonna, I can hit with my shirt. I mean, does this look like a. Like, I can spell. help! Got a bunch of pussies. Yeah. And he just like. Made a stone or? No, it's. Did it, Lulu yeah. just call us pussies? That's so wrong. <laughs> she, she crashes into with her head. Oh, I'm dizzy. Oh, that hurt real bad. Right. I think I have a concussion, but I'm gonna do it again. Ah, oh, God, did it again. Drop some magic missiles on us. It's, does it look like it's made of uh, stone or dirt? It's like metal. Rich mahogany. Some sort of metal. Oh, okay. Yeah. But when Thorbrek smacks it with his mace and or hammer, it just uh, it begins to break and shatter into pieces as if it were made of some other sort of material. And as he does, the... the the globe uh, containing the unicorn floats to the ground and eventually he breaks it and the globe, it, the building collapses and the globe floats to the ground and uh, the unicorn emerges, sniffs the ground, and cautiously looks at you all. And you hear in all of your heads telepathically, thank you for freeing me. I Moonstar. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm glad we could for you. I'm sorry that you were held inside that. Are Are you a key? When you're not a unicorn. <laughs> Many names. <laughs> <laughs> and draconic, I am moon color. I am. Uh, yes, uh, I've been referred to as the key. <sighs> it feels so good to Are breathe the air, even this air. Please take me with you. Do you know Gozer the Gozerian? <laughs> Doesn't, uh, uh, yes, doesn't please. ring a bell. Uh, yes, we uh, we definitely need your help. How um, how what what how did you get captured and brought here? 
I fear I don't remember. It's something of a bad deal a, a master of mine made. It's been so well, long, I don't recall. If you're willing to help us, then we will appreciate it uh, immensely. We're trying to... Uh, a city, a human city, and I point up at the at Antrell and say, is falling, and we need to try and get it back. And you're a key to us getting that back to the plane. Well, let's be off then, shall we? Thank you so much. I'm like, I'm completely like in awe of this majestic creature. Yeah. I didn't even know they existed. I always thought they were just stories. Fabio hair. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe it's not Butter. I can't believe it's not Butter. Yeah, All right, boys. I've seen better. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you all next week. All right, cool. Thanks, Gary. Right, Good game, care. everybody. Uh, later. Thank you, see you boys. Later, guys. Thanks. Later.